Hi again, everybody. This is going to be the video for Sunday, December 18th, 2022. In this video, I'm going to pick up from where I left off yesterday and show the other side of this uh, mechanism using the GAN master angles. In this case, I'm going to plot two of the master angles on the chart. There are others, but I'm just going to show a few uh, price points. And in this instance, what we're going to do is take uh, a time pivot and project it to a price level. So I've chosen these two angles, and you'll notice that I'm not getting all the pivots is because the other angles that I'm not showing will catch a couple of the pivots that I did not get with this pair. So what I've done is taken four of the most significant pivots, this pivot here, this pivot here, this pivot here, and this pivot here off of the low. And what happens with this is if you strike a vertical line on the pivot where it crosses the angle, you drop a horizontal line and that gives you a future price level. So you can see we got hit a hit here and an, and an exact hit there. Now what happens with this, these projections are going to work a little further out, not necessarily on the very next swing. These are going to give you key areas to look at. The next pivot here, I marked right here, this was kind of a wide multiple week and a half type of a pivot with a pair of highs in it. The second high coming down crossing this angle gave me this hit right here and some future support area. The next pivot, this high here, where it crosses the angle here is out of the price action, but when we come down here and cross the second angle, we get the low right there from the middle of November. So what this does, when you put all the angles on the chart, you can identify all of the uh, pivots. Now generally what I do, and I haven't shown that on this chart, the past predicts the future, so I look backwards in order to project forward. In this case, I'm using forward angles, but these angles can be projected backward and uh, be very telling in that way also. Uh, to give an example of that, let me pull up another chart. This is a chart of the SPY. On this one, I'm going to look at uh, backwards angles. You'll see that from the high, I have three angles projected backwards, three of the master angles. And I've also drawn three angles up from this high and this low here, which I have blotted the notation out. So what I'm primarily going to show in this video is looking at the backward angles where they hit pivot points, they give price levels. So this particular uh, set of pivots is going to give me all of the important price levels on the other side of the high. So looking backwards, this vertical line here from 11.22 hits this high it crosses this particular angle right here at the high and gives us the future reaction high right behind the all-time high there. And then when that same pivot crosses the next angle down, it gives us one level. We also get that level again. That's why there's two horizontal lines there because this pivot crosses this angle here and now we have a double confirmation for that price level and that ended up being a double top point of key resistance 
moving to the next pivot. This particular pivot crosses this angle right here by this ellipse. Bring it across. We get this set of lows and then it becomes highs later twice. Same angle where it crosses this high here in the past. Project the line. We get this set of lows right here which becomes the set of highs here. This particular pivot crosses the angle. This one is an, an example of crossing the upward angle and that projected across gets us the area of this low right here. And then lastly I'm going to just show an angle cross where one reverse angle crossing one of my upward angles where the intersection of the angles is gives you the location of this low. So geometrically when you have the proper geometry you can get uh, every important price level from looking at the past. So you can use the forward projection or the projections backwards. I found that the projections backwards give uh, better points for the most part than the forward projections. The other thing I've found that uh, that the two angles that are closest to the price action give the best uh, hits. But everything is mathematically connected. These points of force are mathematically connected. Where you get pivots that bring uh, price projection lines at the same level become even much uh, stronger than just a single hit. And if you use all the angles you'll come into this frequency or frequently and you'll be able to get great projections from this.